Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about balancing equations. And um, this balancing equation would be um, useful. It's not necessarily called balancing equations, but this would be useful when it comes to um, solving by elimination. Okay? So this would be the next topic. So before we go there, we do this one. Okay? When we talk about balancing equation, um, we would be talking about uh, systems. Okay? Systems of linear equations. So say we have 2x plus 5y is equal to 3. And say we have x plus 7y is equal to 2. Yeah. Say we have this given. And the thing that we need to do here is we need to eliminate. And when we want to eliminate something, it must be balanced. So what do I mean by that? For example, you are being asked, eliminate x. Eliminate x. So, what you need to do is you need to make sure that the x's here are balanced. Kasi when you will be trying to eliminate, the x's must be the same. Okay? So, if the x's must be the same, you must check the values of x. The for In the first equation, the x is 2x. Okay? In the second equation, in equation 2, the x is um, simply x. And how do we make this equation 2x to be the same as your um, equation 1x. You check the numerical coefficient. In this case, the numerical coefficient is 2. So you want this to have a numerical coefficient of 2. And for you to have that, you need to multiply this by 2. So that you will have 2x. Okay, so they are, now, they are now balanced. But then again, if I will have this as 2x, then that will not be balanced in the case of this equation number 2 because I multiply this x by 2 and I did not multiply the rest by 2. So when we talk about balancing equation, you must make sure that the one you, the variable you want to eliminate would be the same and at the same time, you are fair when it comes to multiplying um, terms. Okay, in this case, check the value of x here. It's 2. And for me to get 2x in our second equation, I need to multiply everything by 2. So from equation number 2, okay, you will, you, you will have... Um, x plus 7y is equal to 2 I will need to multiply this entire thing by 2 So I will have 2x plus 14 is equal to 4 So therefore, I can now have uh, my new equation to be 2x plus 5y is equal to 3 And I will have 2x plus 14y is equal to 4 Because again, this one is the same as x plus 7y is equal to 2 so, this would be my final answer for my balanced equation, okay? So, let's have another example. Um, say we have a system uh, being x plus y is equal to negative 3 and I have 3x um, minus 4y is equal to 4. So, I am, you're, and you're being asked, eliminate, eliminate, y and i will eliminate y by just simply making sure that the equation is balanced so i check in equation uh, for y of the equation y it's y and for the equation 2 it's simply negative 4y i want this to become negative 4y therefore i will multiply this by negative 4 so it's the same and this would be the multiplier for the entire first equation okay so this one this would be my multiplier for the entire first equation. So, what would happen? So, my first equation, x plus y is equal to negative 3. I will multiply this by negative 4 for both sides. So, this would give me negative 4x minus 4y is equal to positive 12. And this would be my equation, new equation 1. New equation 1. Okay? Another one. Say we have... Um, I'm, I'm just inventing things. 2x minus um, 3y is equal to 7 and 3x plus 5y is equal to 2. And you're being asked, eliminate x. Now in this case, how do we eliminate x if we have this case? We have 2x and 3x. So this is for equation 1, you have 2x, and then equation 2, you have 3x. You, your goal is to make them the same, so that you can eliminate them both. In making them the same, okay, um, one thing that I do is I just simply multiply them together. Okay? 
3 times 2 times 3 times um 3 times 2 or uh, 2 times 3 would be equal to 6x and I will multiply this by 2 so that I will have 6x so I multiply them together this is 2x times 3 yan ito this one and on the other case this is 3x times 2 at the end okay and they will both get um, 6x so what would happen to the first equation on the first equation I will multiply it by what by 3 so this is 2x minus 3y is equal to 7 times 3 on both sides so this is 6x minus 9y is equals to 21 and as for equation 2 I will multiply it by 2 because it's written here so we will have 3x plus 5y is equals to 2 times 2 for both sides so this would give us 6x plus 10y is equals to 4 so this is the new equation 1 and new equation 2 so you will just simply replace them in your system being 6x minus 9y is equal to 21 and 6x plus 10y is equal to 4 now you can eliminate them again the goal for this balancing equation is you need to make sure that your given would be the same okay let's have another example x minus um, 4y is equal to negative 7 and um, 2x plus y is equal to 2 yeah. and you want to eliminate eliminate y so you check y equation 1 is negative 4y equation 2 is y so which one would you rather balance the first or the second of course it's the second you will multiply this by negative 4 will give you negative 4y the same now therefore you will multiply the entire second equation by negative 4 okay so let's multiply that um, it will give us 2x plus y is equal to 2 multiply it by negative 4 by negative 4 what would happen would be um, this would be negative 8x minus 4y is equals to negative 8 and therefore you will have it as the same you can write it down again your new this is your new equation 2 so you will have copy yung first is equals to negative 7 and then just simply rewrite the and the new equation 2 okay so again your aim here would be I will um, encircle ito you must make the one you want to eliminate the same the same yan right again you want you want to make the one you eliminate the same yeah. and again you want to make the one you eliminate the same this is 4 and 4 right so they are the same and again for our first example they would always be the same yeah. you will notice it's the same and the same okay so that is the key concept when it comes to elimination that you must be able to balance your equation because when you cannot balance the equation, you cannot eliminate immediately. Okay? In elimination, the terms must be the same. Okay? At least one term in your given must be the same. I mean one variable. Okay? In this case, kung ano man yung hinihingi sa'yo na il eliminate. Okay? That you want to eliminate. Okay? So that would be all. Thank you everyone for listening. If you have any other question, just kindly... Um, uh, view the video again or of course uh, you can go to our chat group so I can um, help you thank you again for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh